has to be some way to help Abby. Oh, it's you! Uh, who are you again? Helping the family out? Oh no, no, that's dangerous work. Uh, <laughs> hope you're being safe about it. Abby, my daughter, uh, she, ain't she great? Yeah, yeah, so smart. She, she can do anything. Abby, darling, such a strong child. Keep it? it down, will ya? Does no one want to drink in these godforsaken hills? To dance? So what did Pop have to say? Anything comprehensible? Damn! Some father. No, no, it's not his fault. It's just... I wish he could be here for us right now. Well, if he won't help us, we'll need more of a Hail Mary. I agree. Ever since Abby mentioned Pop, I've been racking my brain, trying to remember anything he might have told me. I remember he would take business trips to the city center. That's government territory, so it always struck me as out of character. He told us he had a warehouse there. He never said what it was for, and I never found out either. If he really was involved with Devil's Blood, though, maybe that place has something to do with it. Maybe the family is keeping stock there. Even an antidote, if we're lucky. Oh, Glad you agree. I know it's a long shot, I'm but it gives us a starting all point. All right, we'll need to borrow that vertebrate of yours again. I'm coming with you this time. We'll fly into downtown, and I'll get us in contact with an old friend of mine familiar with the rumors. She'll know where to go from there. Let's meet in Atlantic City and go from there. Okay, now that we're here, it's time to find Sloane. She used to patrol this area. Said if I ever needed help, to head this way and she'd find me. All right, let's see if she still knows my whistle. <laughs> that wasn't what I expected. Good as ever. Thanks, Sloan. I bet you thought you were rid of my poor aunt when I left the Muni's. You know I never wanted to be rid of you in the first place, but... Yeah, I really did.
Always nice to see some friendly faces. Though I don't recognize yours. Let's see what Sloan has to What say. brings you back to AC, Ven? You bringing me a new recruit? I've come to ask you a favor. Remember those reports we used to get about the family snooping around our turf? We're here to find them. The family? Steer clear of them, Ven. They're trouble. What has you looking for those gangsters anyway? You new friend here drag you into this? But here? I hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. Abby's on devil's blood. We're here trying to find an antidote. I know the mob moves in and out of the district. Don't ask me how. It's the perfect place to hide cameras. Tucked in a dangerous part of town, away from their precious casino, out of the spotlight. If they do have a warehouse here, maybe we can find a lead on a cure. Please, I need your help. Ben, I'm so sorry. You know I want to help. But first, I've got my own problem to solve. I'm only out this way because my squad got scattered fighting Overgrown nearby. I'm still missing a lot of my people. I need to find them. But there's a lot of ground to cover. Listen, you're our best bet for finding that warehouse. Let us help you. Together we can find your squad faster, and then you can repay the favor. Really? Are you sure? Abby needs you. Like I said, to help Abby, we need you. Plus, I can't just leave my old comrades to die. If you insist, I won't turn you down. But I hope you aren't doing this out of some misguided sense of guilt. And what about you? You as good a Samaritan as Mr. Russo here? Not a bad instinct. Happy to have the extra body. All right. I saw some of my cadets head down the road past your makeshift landing pad. Head over there and help out anyone you can find. Vin and I will take our own path and help out the rest. Meet us up the road closer to City Hall when you're done. I have a hunch about where we can find that warehouse of yours. Good luck.
already made it. Thanks, Finn. You held up pretty well after your hiatus. It's nice to know I haven't lost my touch. Oh, that brought back some memories. Missing the good old days? Well, I don't miss the danger. But it does feel good to be a Muni again, even as a fill in. Right. We need to search for that warehouse. Abby's life depends on it. Abby. Poor girl. I hope for her sake, whatever hunch you have pays off. You should check down this alley. We've seen family members hanging around the building down there. I don't want to fight, so we've never pressed them on why. Could be what you're looking for. If they're guarding a building off their usual turf, there has to be something important. But how do we get in? Oh, you sure? The family doesn't always respond well to reason. If you say so. But if things start going south, bail and find another way in. Fighting is a last resort. You're pulling my leg. There's no way. It's true. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're gonna come over here and settle an argument for us. We was just about to take our lunch break, but I ain't leaving until we figure this out. Tell us, guy, it's real. Allegedly. Proof. I need physical proof. What in the... Let me see that. Well, I'll be damned. Is this some kind of trick? No. It is real.
has to be something. Hey, what about these? We used to use pipes like these to pump the water out of buildings and go hunting for salvage. But couldn't we reverse the flow? And use the pressure to flush the family out? With the right adjustments, we can blast enough water inside to take out any guards and create some kind of opening. Now that you mention it, we did have an incident once where a newbie mixed up the valve order and blasted a bunch of overground to Kingdom Come. Yes, we're so close. I just know this will pay off. It's a good plan, Vin. But this is the end of the line for me. If a municipal officer got caught assaulting a gangster hideout, it could jeopardize the peace we have. We used to use pipes like these to pump the water out of buildings and go hunting for salvage. But couldn't we reverse the flow? Or with the right adjustments? Let's see what Vin found. Now that you mention it, we did have an incident once where... Yes. It's a good plan, Vin. If a municipal officer got caught assaulting a gangster hideout, it could jeopardize the peace we have in Atlantic City. Before I go, though, I want to make you an offer. I want you to come back to us when this is all through. Procuring Abby takes precedence. I would never say otherwise. But it's clear you missed the job. We'll take you back. I'll pull whatever strings are necessary. What do you think? I knew this was coming. But I'm still not sure what to say. In my heart, I'm... A, I'm uni. But I left for a reason. My family needs me, desperately. If I'm not there for them, they'll probably devolve into raiders or ghouls or worse. And I'm only half joking. I need to think about it. I will take it seriously. I promise. I know you will. I'm sorry to make you choose again, but I really do feel it would be right for you to return. Think it through. I'll be here for you either way. Good luck, Ben. Okay, concentrate. Back to business. These pumps are finicky. We'll need to turn the valves in the right order to reverse the flow. The valves are marked with their numbers. I think the order should be... Three, two, four, one. Can you remember that? That's right. Let's have at it.
figure out what's left. did it. The plan worked. Okay, now we just need to look around and see if there's a cure stashed here somewhere. Before we do, though, tell me something. Once we're all past this, do you think I should come back here? Leave the business? Try and return to my old life? I guess it is. It's just hard to come to terms with that. I chose a different path, after all. I never saw myself as someone who would drop everything to follow his dream. It just never seemed realistic. When my family came begging, I went back to them. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I always want to do what's right. I'm just not sure what that is right now. What would you do in my position? I guess our being here now is evidence enough of that, isn't it? They really do rely on me. Should I leave them in the lurch to pursue my own happiness? You've given me some food for thought. Thank you. I'll sort out my own feelings later. Now, it looks like there's another floor to this place. Let's get up there and take a look. Okay? I don't want any more trouble. T take what you want, but don't hurt me. Me? I'm Jean. I cook blood for the family. Not my first choice, but it has its perks. Wait, why am I answering your questions? Who are you? What are you doing here? A cure for devil's blood addiction? <laughs> that info is what we call classified. To make me an offer better than the kneecaps I'll lose for telling you. I... Yeah, I, I, I remember that feeling, yeah. <laughs> Appeal to my soft side, why don't you? Look, I would if I could, okay? But I can't cook an antidote for devil's blood. Not with what I got here. I only use synthetic materials. <laughs> Hate to talk down my own product, but, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's almost like knockoff stuff. Wasn't always that way. In the good old days, before I was caged up like a lab rat, we used a pure, organic compound. But times have changed. But if you had that organic compound, you could create an antidote? Can't we get it for you? Well, maybe if you could get it. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Even I don't know where it comes from. Only the original creator does. And he's long gone. Oh, Conchetta Lombardi drove him into exile when she took power. Might have even whacked him by now. So unless you happen to know where Tony Russo is hiding out, you aren't getting your cure. Sorry, pal. My 
father? Damn it, Pop. I knew you had something to do with this. Just not what... Wait... <laughs> Tony is your dad? The Mafia boss Antonio Russo? Oh my god... Oh my god, you're Vinny? I really am losing my kneecaps. Seems like we owe my father another visit. Senile or not. We have to get him to cough up some info if we want to save Abby. <laughs> Senile? Oh, kid! Did you really fall for that act? That man's as sharp as a carving knife. He was barking orders right up until he fled. Never a hint of forgetfulness. Oh, I won! He's been pulling the wool over your eyes, Finn. Yeah, I'm just sad to see you fell for it. He... What? There's no way. Unless... I was pretty busy. And I'd been away from home, working for the Munis for a while. Did I just take it for granted? You're right. We need to head home and confront my father. Do whatever it takes to make him admit he's been playing us. Or dig up something that could lead to a cure. I know this was a lot to go through. But thank you again for doing this. I'll meet you at home when you're ready. Oh, you are. Uh, find what you're looking for. 